Hi there, and welcome to the Home Studio Rescue. My name is Chris. If you own Waves plugins, you'll inevitably end up at this page at some point. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about when to update your plugins and why, and try to explain to the best of my ability what this is about. So from the Waves website, here we are. Every new purchase or upgrade of any Waves plugin includes one year of free Waves update plan coverage for that product. Once the plan expires, Renew it for another year whenever you want. If you don't wish to renew, the plugins you own will remain yours as before, but you will not enjoy plugin updates, second license, or other benefits of the plan. So what do you get with the Waves Update plan? You get plugin updates and ongoing compatibility with your digital audio workstation, OS, and hardware. They have really great tech support, I will say that for Waves. And if you've bought a bundle and they've added any new plugins to that bundle since you purchased it, you get those for free with your update. The other thing is they give you a Waves voucher for however much your update is. And I will say, or we'll go back here, and it says that they range between $12 to $240. And for me, I have, I don't know, 60 to 80 Waves plugins. I've got all these bundles. And it caps out at 240 bucks for me. And these up here, they don't need an update, so it kind of it does something funky. But $240. One of the questions from my last Waves video was, do I need to update every year? And the answer is no. You do not need to update your Waves plugins every year. The only time you need to update your Waves plugins is when you have bought a new computer and it has a new operating system and you need updates for that, or you've updated your operating system and you need updates so your plugins will work and I have been there before I bought a new computer and that was the first time I had to do this back in 2015 and honestly it really upset me <laughs> I made a video about Waves plugins before and I uh, maybe was a little harsh on them but at any rate the question is is the Waves update plan bad and you know that's really going to be up to you as to whether or not you're going to be happy paying uh, if you have as many plugins as I do $240 every time you need to update so I will say they sell plugins relatively cheap. You can get a bunch of plugins right now. They got a sale going on for anywhere from like 35 bucks up to like $120, maybe even more. I will say I have no affiliation with Waves. I'm not getting a dime out of this. I gain nothing if you buy Waves plugins. I'm not trying to advertise them to you. I'm just kind of trying to give them a fair shake. So what I will say, you can buy something like the Waves Platinum Bundle for $227.99. I bought that for $750 back 10 years ago. And just to update that bundle, let's say, so when you buy something like that, you get a year of updates. After that, if you upgrade your computer or your OS, you're going to need to do the Waves update plan. So if you bought the Platinum bundle for $227.99, it cost $179.91 to update just that bundle alone. So to me, uh, I guess my opinion is that kind of sucks. You bought it for 200 and basically 30 bucks, and now you're going to have to pay $180 to update it. You could look at it like maintenance on a car or something like that, but the cost of this stuff is really it, you're paying for the support and you're paying for the new updates of uh, so they'll work with your computer or your new OS. Your opinion on that is pretty much up to you. Uh, I've had to do this twice, and I'm never really thrilled to do it, but it's one of those things you can be prepared for. Usually I get about five to six years out of the current the version that I've paid for the version that I have and then I have to update and so really 240 bucks every five or six years isn't that bad but uh, you know it never really leaves a good taste in my mouth so with that said that's pretty much the point of this video it's just basically pointing out when and why you would need to update and basically that you don't have to do this every year you only should do this when you need to do it really which is like I said operating system if you update that or you get a new computer that's when you're going to need to do this it is something I've had a lot of people talk about Windows computers and that they haven't had to update and that's great that's good for them but unfortunately Mac is always messing with their stuff I'm, I've been a Mac user for 10 years I'm not going back to Windows but you're probably going to have to update if you're on a Mac. And I would say overall, you're probably going to have to update no matter what type of computer you use. But a lot of people with Windows have said otherwise. So uh, we'll see about that. But if you got any value out of this video, please like and subscribe. If you disagree on anything, if I miss something, please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. And thank you guys so much for watching.